I thought Boogie Bot was friendly. He's covered in blood. Oh, what? What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be checking out some brand new Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 news. We got new characters, some fan-made animations, trailers, and other secrets that we're going to be checking out here. So at the beginning of the month, we got the reveal for the Smiling Critters. They look like cute little animal plushies. We got an elephant, a pig, which would probably be one of my favorites. We have a unicorn. I think that the orange creature might be, I don't know, maybe a dog. What do you guys think that is? We also have a green bunny, a red bear, I think, and then like some kind of chicken characters. And they all have these like really big, dark, smiling mouths. Here's another image of them. They look so happy. But we all know Poppy Playtime is not always that friendly when it comes to these rainbow looking creatures. But if we look at the first image, there's only seven of these smiling critters. And then in this one, there's an eighth critter. It's the purple one. It's like a purple cat. That is catnap, I guess. So this is Bubba Bubba Fant. Bubba Bubba Fant is the brains of the critters, bright and attentive. He keeps his friends steady and always steers them to make smart choices. That way they all might grow up to be bright and brilliant, each in their own right. And his scent is lemongrass. Why does he need a scent? Bobby Bearhug also has a scent of Rose. A kind, caring soul, Bobby Bearhug, shows compassion for everyone and for everything. People and places and things, large or small, are all receivers of her love. Each is enriched by this attention and affection, and in turn, so is she. So she's like the love bear. She gives bear hugs. So Bubba the elephant is the brains, Bobby bear hug is like the love bear, and then we have Crafty Corn the unicorn. A conscious observer of both color and creativity in the world. Crafty Corn understands the importance of art and sharing it with others. Crayons, pencils, paint, or words on the page. Crafty Corn can see beauty in anything imagined, giving shape. And Crafty Corn's scent is jasmine. So Crafty Corn's like an artist, I guess. And then we have Kickin' Chicken, the cool kid of the crew. And he maintains that sense of cool through anything, even the most tents of situations knock him down and he'll pick himself up brush himself off and ask what's next so maybe he's more of like a leader one of the smiling critters he's the cool guy and his scent is lang lang this is dog day the sunny strong and determined leader of our critters each trusts him to find the bright side in any situation and have a friendly word of encouragement should they feel down. He'll always keep his friends going no matter what with the scent of vanilla. So Dog Day is actually the leader. I just realized that we're also missing the green bunny. So we have the pig, the green bunny, and catnap that they're hopefully going to release soon so we can see a little more description of them. They also came out with this Smiling Critters cartoon, so we're going to watch this. It seems like it might be like a children's cartoon that something bad is going to happen during the cartoon. Ooh, it's, so it's like a full episode. The wind's really scary. They're scared from the storm. <laughs> I can't sleep. Hey, Aww. we'll be okay, guys. I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. Could that be catnap? It is. Oh, they're so happy. Catnap! Please help us go to sleep, catnap. We need it, catnap. Please help us sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh man. So that's uh the smoke that we saw in the trailer. And that's what puts them asleep. Ooh. That is so creepy, dude. Look at Catnap just sitting on the couch smiling like, yes, I put them to sleep. My job here is done. 
and all the critters are, still have their mouths open, but their eyes are closed. They needed help sleeping from the scary storm, but I'm starting to think that that's what the scents are. Maybe that was the scent coming out of Catnap's mouth that puts them to sleep, but we don't know what that scent is until hopefully they bring up a description of Catnap on their Twitter. That's kind of scary. All right, guys, now we're going to check out this animation by Lazzy Playtime. It's called Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 Meeting with Deep Sleep. This was like one of the, the first animations that I could find that had deep sleep in some kind of fan-made animation. So I want to see what kind of creature deep sleep is going to look like. And I think that this was released before deep sleep had its official look. I don't even think it's going to look the same. It's probably going to look like... Like Grimace. That's probably what I'm guessing. Grimace with like a big, big mouth and big sharp teeth. So we're inside a play care right now. This is like Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 area. There's Bunzo down there. We got some posters on the wall. Cat B. What are we looking for? Probably that big lever with the light. Yeah, we probably need to pull that. There you go. That'll open up the door. Somebody graffiti turned back on the door. Oh, Deep Sleep's out here already. So that is what they think that it would look like before it looked like a plushie, pretty much. I'm sure that they're going to make another animation where they make it look a little different. Uh, don't you want to come with me? Wait, was that Daddy Long Legs? Definitely wasn't Deep Sleep. Are we like skipping scenes here? What's going on? We got Mommy Le Long Legs hanging out of the vent. So I think that this might be showing all the monsters that are pretty much dead at this point. Yeah, Daddy Long Legs. Uh, probably don't want to go through here, but we're going to do it anyways. We don't have a choice. The door is conveniently open, and that's a lot of ketchup on the ground. Bunzo! Oh, what happened to Bunzo? No! Uh-oh. Getting closer to Daddy. Daddy Long Legs. Guys, do you think Daddy Long Legs is going to be in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3? I feel like he's not. Maybe in chapter four or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like Daddy Longlegs would fit the theme at all. I feel like it's all about the the critters. Yeah, take those stairs. That looks like a good escape route. But Daddy Longlegs can probably get us. Oh my gosh, that scared me, bro. Am I a real boy? <laughs> Yes, Boogie Bot, you're a real boy. <laughs> what the heck was that? It's supposed to be a Pinocchio line. I'm a real boy. Boogie Bot will help us. He'll help us escape. Am I a real boy? Oh, Boogie Bot, you are big. Boogie Bot's mini game? What? What do we have to do? Is the the floor going to fall maybe? I think we were supposed to step, step on a, a different color. Boogie Bot's kind of creepy. So when he says green, we step on green. Is that what we were doing here? We're playing like Simon? He gives us six seconds. White? Oh, green. Okay, so he says green and shows the color. That's so cool. Green again, so... Okay, I guess go to a different green. We were already standing on green. That's it. Oh, that was the... Guys, that was round one. It's gonna get harder, apparently. Boogie Bot's not messing around. Violet. Violet, right there. Nice. I thought Boogie Bot was friendly. He's covered in blood. Orange, Orange right there. Don't get it confused with yellow. All right, Boogie Bot, do we pass? Red. Red. Okay. Yes. Round two complete. 
Uh-oh, round three. It's, it's gonna get harder. Hello. Yeah, hello? So he only gives us like three seconds now. Orange. Orange, we already stepped on that. Very nice. White. Oh, we won. Yes, what do we get? We get a prize. I think. Oh, it's a boogie bot key. Dude, that is so cool. Guys, this is a cool animation. I'll leave uh, the, the creator, Lazzy Playtime. I'll leave them down in the description. Check them out. So after we completed the boogie bot game, what do we have to do now? We have his key. Let's go ahead and open this up. What would we need a boogie bot key for? Maybe boogie bot only has access to certain doors. Be safe and have fun. Okay, Kissy Missy, thank you. Go away. We just casually walk behind Kissy Missy. Ooh. We got some other huggies in here. She's pointing at that one. Wait, you want me to do surgery on him? I'm not a doctor. Or do you want to do surgery on me? What? Yeah, I don't think that we should be in here with her. She is crazy, dude. So now we have to run away from Kissy Missy. She's gonna try to put us in a wheelchair and play doctor with us. I don't want to. Oh no. <laughs> she said choo choo. Bye Kissy Missy. I don't love you at all. Oh guys, this is PJ Pugapillar's maze room. He wants to play statues with us. I don't want to play statues, PJ. I think he's dead. Looks like Catnap might have got a hold of him. So I wonder if we're like going into Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, like just specifically in this animation, it seems like this might have been maybe like a long time after Catnap like destroyed the whole place. So maybe like a couple years prior this all happened because we see like spider webs and it just looks abandoned. The sandbox. Oh. Cat bees here. Wonderful. Do we have to play her mini game? Oh, it's over. That was so cool. I think that the Boogie Bot mini game would be super fun in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Let me know what you guys think because in Chapter 2, it was like all about those different mini games that we had to do. So it's exciting to see what is coming up next for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. If you guys want to see more like games, fan games, videos, animations, or whatever regarding Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, hit that like button or Catnap is going to come for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace!